How's it going, guys? We are back in another video here. I feel a little bit better today. A little bit. You know, medicine does help. But uh, we are back in another video here. And this is a, a Team of the Year type of video, right? So, uh, you know, how expensive will Team of the Year really be? Could it be cheaper? That's really going to be the question. What will it cost to make a Team of the Year card? What do you need to make a Team of the Year card? That's really the million dollar question. A lot of people ask me all the time, Henrik, how many 84s do I need? Henrik, should I be saving for 85? Should I be saving 86s? Should I be saving, you know, all these different you know, types of, uh, of cards? Well, I mean, you should definitely be saving a lot, that's for sure, but what one should you be saving for, all right? I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, if you have not already, but let's uh, let's look at this right now. So, we're in a hot right now, so I have a crazy amount of cards saved. I'm not normal, keep that in mind, guys. I'm not the normal hot player. I've spent a decent amount of money on the game. I play every single week, every single day of my life. So, yes, I do have a lot saved. It makes sense. I actually haven't spent as much money as maybe, I guess, you'd think. I've probably spent, like, 500, which is a lot. Which is a lot, but I've heard some crazier numbers. I'm pretty sure, compared to some other YouTubers, honestly, I've probably spent, like, maybe the least. Like, I'm sure Sleeves, Thrasher spent more than me. But I don't know that for a fact, either. Uh, just It's just a guess. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I have a lot of cards. So, what I have a lot of, and I think is going to be very important for Team of the Year... It's going to be this, okay? It's going to be uh, really starting at, honestly, I'd say 84s. Probably 84s. Uh, 83s aren't bad to have. I have, uh, you know, an exceptional amount of 83s. Uh, really, I'd say 82 and below are going to be pretty, not worthless, but they're not going to be really helpful for making a Team of the Year card. You'll probably get about one collectible for trading that in, which is really a low amount. So it's not going to really make you uh, very, very happy probably to see how hard it'll actually be basically what i'm saying is if you have a full if you buy like 183s you know that's probably gonna be a mistake is what i'm saying you know i, I don't think that'd be a good idea uh, obviously the higher overall is the better because that'll be the more collectibles you can get right i mean it's kind of an obvious thing i feel uh but then uh for 84s uh, i have 38 which i think is very important 84 is really where you start getting like it starts getting interesting. It really does. It really starts getting interesting uh in that in that situation because 84s can be pretty valuable. I think right now it's two collectibles for this current event, which, you know, for Team of the Year, I mean, it could probably be two again. I don't see why it wouldn't be. 85, really, you're starting to get talking. 85, I have 41. That's really a lot. That's really a lot. Like, I might I might be able to make a Team of the Year straight up off of my 84s and 5s. Like, I, I really think that's possible. Uh, I can't say for a fact, but it's certainly a possibility, okay? So, uh, for example, I, I was looking back uh, at at my, uh, my, my Team of the Year video again. And I'm gonna give you guys a few different, like, thoughts I have, okay? So, what I think is, it actually could be cheaper. Believe it or not, I think it could actually be cheaper to make a Team of the Year this year. Possibly. Hear me out. Hear me out. Possibly, I'm saying, okay? I'm not saying 100% it's gonna be the case, but I could see it. You know what I mean? I really could see it. And why do I say that? Well, my number one reason for saying that is this, guys. Team of the Year this year, realistically, how high will the overalls be for these cards? That's the question. MSPs are at 90 overall right now. Last year, they were at least at a 92. Uh, I think they had, like, didn't have like that extra bonus version and they were like 93. Because, I mean, I really feel like it, it could get interesting, guys. It could get very interesting. Uh, and for example here... It, uh, it really, it's interesting because what I really feel is, will they have the same amount of cost for, you know, let's say McDavid last year was 96, right? Say McDavid gets a car this year and he's like 93, for example. Is it going to cost the same amount of gold cards? I doubt that. It just doesn't make sense to me, logically. It, it really doesn't. Maybe I'm, I'm stupid, but I, I just don't think, how, I don't know how that could make any sense, realistically, because... If it's a lower overall card, I understand it's still a Team of the Year card, and they go up in overall. So this is what they were last year, guys, for example. All right? So basically, it was uh, 15 gold players get you one. 10 80 pluses get you one. 8 81 pluses get you one. 7 82 pluses get you one. And then I believe it was, uh, yeah, I, I skipped it too quick. 3 83 pluses get you two, I believe. Uh... 284s gets you two, I believe, and then 285s probably got you. Uh, we got we, we, we get you that, which gets you three, but yeah, and then and then 86 would get you five, I think, something like that. I can't really tell 100% from this video, but 
I just feel like, guys, it, it just... Are they going to really charge the same amount? Like, I don't know. I find that hard to believe a little bit. I really do. I, I don't know. I, maybe they maybe they will, but I, I don't know. My hope is they don't. Obviously, I think we all want it to be cheaper, right? No one wants it to be, you know, more expensive or the same price. That'd be silly. So, yeah, we'll see what EA does. But uh, in, my, in my eyes, guys, you're going to need 84s. 85s especially those you're gonna want to really stock up on like you really really are 84s and 5s are gonna be very critical i'd say uh 86s you know that could be a little bit tough to get it, it really could be let's let's be all like serious for a second here i mean 86s and 7s you know that's not easy to just like you know gather i mean not a lot of people have a lot of coins to just kind of like just be like hey i'm gonna drop 400k on on 85 or 86s sorry i mean like, I mean, I could, if I really wanted to right now, I could, but I feel like, God forbid, I could just, in the end, I have the coins, if I really need to, I could buy them at the time, team me the ears out, uh, but, just so you want to be prepared, you really want to have 84s and 5s, I think I mentioned that in my previous video on how to get prepared for team of the year, I try to make more videos, you know, as it gets closer to team of the year, because, really, at this point, we're probably about, what, two weeks out, I would say, essentially, a little bit over, because, It'll probably be, what, January 6th is, is my guess. We have this Friday, and then the next Friday, and then the Friday after would be the new event, which would be the Team of the Year. So we'll see. I mean, I'm very excited for it. I hope you guys are very excited for it still as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's. Enjoy Discord, talk to me, follow subscribers to the channel, and let me know what you guys think. You know, what are you stocking up on? If you guys did enjoy, though, I'll see you in the next video.